믿음 안에서 세우신 재단 우리 교회가 창립 40주년을 맞았습니다 지난 40년 동안 당 회장님을 통해 펼치신 권능의 사역 그리고 은혜와 감동을 되새기는 창립 40주년 기념 행사 10월 16일 주일 오후 3시 부천체육관에서 만민의 창립 40주년을 기념합니다 The first part will be the celebration service with acting senior pastor's sermon. The second part will be the performance by the performing arts committee. And uh, the third part is uh, the various booth, uh, celebration booth event where our members can attend. Remembering the glorious moments of Manmin, I hope you attained the scene of glory. Loving Mami members, congratulations on the 40th anniversary. Today, we'd like to have a special time with you in its celebration. While we are talking about the overseas crusades conducted by our senior pastor, I hope you feel the presence of Father God in Mami. People whom I'll talk with are the staff of uh, Overseas Mission Bureau who worked hard for the overseas crusades. The behind the story of Mamin's overseas crusades starts now. Kenya, Philippines, Honduras, India, Russia, Germany, Peru, DR Congo, New York, Israel, Estonia. Let's introduce ourselves. First of all, I'm Elder Johnny Kim, President of Urim Books. Hello, I'm Elder Ronya Son of the Overseas Mission Bureau. I'm Elder Samuel Kim, Deputy Director of Overseas Mission Bureau. Yesterday's heroes united again. Amen. You worked hard for each overseas crusade, and now you become elders, and you've been faithfully doing your duty. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. The start of the overseas crusade was the 2000 Uganda crusade. Elder Chan Kim has been with senior pastors since the first crusade in Uganda. I think you know better than anyone. Well, in 1998 and 1999, although it was called the refinement of blessing, we went through an extremely difficult situation. Our senior pastor overcame this only with goodness and love and faith. It was a frustrating situation as if we were um, pressed on every side. Uh, but when the year 2000 has come, Father God opened the way for us to freely unfold the works of power abroad. Because the situation happened in Korea, we naturally turned to overseas. I think that this was the providence of God to accomplish world mission in the end. 
I also went as a member of the performance team at Uganda Crusade. I still remember the explosive reaction of African people. When people share testimonies on the stage after senior pastor's prayer, they raised their chairs and cheered that each one's testimony. I thought that God's word about the explosive power was being fulfilled like this. I felt so for the first time. It was a very moving time because there was the first explosive and touching scene after the incident in 1999. While seeing the successful crusade with explosive power, we experienced that it was surely the refinement blessing for us. Also, in overseas crusade, God also let us meet high-ranking people who helped our crusade. Especially in 2006, in DR Congo, we heard that we could not use the venue for the crusade on the third day. At the time, during the meeting with the president, he asked our senior pastor if there was anything he could help. Help. Then a senior pastor mentioned about the crusade venue, and the president helped us to block the road right in front of the National Assembly building and held a large-scale crusade. It was an amazing work. Elder Samuel Kim, you played a big role in meeting with the president in Peru, right? Yes, uh, by the help of God, we could meet President Toledo in a dramatic way while preparing for the crusade. Actually, we couldn't even think about meeting him. I met and talked with Mr. Vincent, who was helping us, and I found out that Mr. Vincent was very close to Rosa Graciela Yanarico, who was then the ruling party president, almost like a daughter. When Mr. Vincent talked about our crusade to Ms. Ms. Yanariko, then she said it would be great if senior pastor, such a precious person, pray for Peru, and she said she would talk to the president about it. Then she met the president and talked about us, and things went prosperously to make it happen. Senior pastor met and talked with President Toledo and prayed for blessing, and then he became peaceful, and many good things happened in Peru, too. Yes, as far as I know, he didn't suffer much until the end of his last term, and it had a pretty good finish. When I go on a mission trip, as you say, I experience a lot of connections with people whom Father God prepared. It was the time to prepare for the 2004 Germany crusade. Father God gave the word to conduct a crusade in Germany. However, in fact, we didn't have any connection in Germany. There was no, uh, no one um, we knew. We didn't know what to do. We had no, no one there. It was the situation that we had to start with absolutely nothing. We looked at the current state of Protestantism in Germany, basically, and after receiving senior pastor's prayer, we went with nothing but bags. However, as we have prepared our crusades, uh, we were convinced that Father God was with the senior pastor's ministry of power. Uh, we were sure that Father God would let us meet the helpers he prepared in any situation, and it would be the crusade in, in great glory after all, so uh, we could move, go there. While meeting people, we are connected not only to churches, but also the press. The pastor of the, uh, the Charisma magazine was doing the ministry full of the Holy Spirit and he was moved in heart. We held the German crusade at the arena in Düsseldorf, Oberhausen, filled with multitude of people in the glory of God with amazing power. I experienced that when we obeyed and acted after receiving senior pastor's prayer. Things happened and the impossible became possible and bore beautiful fruits.
Now, let's move on to the next story. When we talk about overseas crusade, above all else, the amazing works of power come to our mind. Elder Samuel Kim did not did a lot of things in advance while preparing for the crusades, right? You experienced the work of power. Yes, um, we went to prepare for the crusade in advance, and we were called the preparation team. We publicized the senior pastor by showing the video power of God in every church. We met pastors or leaders of pastors' association and told them about our crusade and sometimes preached. Well, uh, with projector as a package, <laughs> we did so. And there have been so many testimonies until now. What I remember the most of all is this. In a church, after we showed the video introducing senior pastor and the crusade and prayed with a handkerchief for the members, when we were about to leave, someone said he was healed of AIDS. I was so surprised to see that healing work, and at the time, I realized that it was not I who was preparing for the crusade and showing God's power, but it was fulfilled only in the power through the senior pastor's prayer in order to accomplish Father God's will. It was an experience that encouraged me until now. An amazing experience. It was amazing. Well, whenever a senior pastor conducted the overseas crusade, there were the time of red testimonies. And at every testimony time, Elder Chan Kim shouted hallelujah. I wonder how you started it. Well, in fact, I felt embarrassed at first and it didn't work properly. However, I remember it was at the Uganda crusade. I was interpreting the testimonies and senior pastor was praying for the sick, but it was very noisy in the stadium. I heard about this situation. It was cancer, I think. There was someone who could die from incurable disease and he was waiting for that his family and relatives and even neighbors knew it. But that person was healed after receiving senior pastor's prayer. They couldn't control the emotion. They gave glory to God and overjoyed. While interpreting, I prayed in my heart um, how to express that emotion better to show Father God's glory more more at the moment. And then, without knowing, I shouted like that. It was, Hallelujah! That's how he started. I guess it was in 2001 when we held the Kenya Crusade, KBC Kenya National Broadcasting broadcasted our crusade live, and afterward at every country our crusade was broadcasted live. Also, Israel Crusade was watched from about 220 countries through satellites. I was very grateful for the increase in the scale of broadcasting for our crusades. How about Peru? Peru Crusade was broadcasted live through two broadcasters. They were majors. And I remember Channel 5 and 13 and broadcasted our crusade. I think the CEO came to meet the senior pastor. He invited the senior pastor himself. And he treated meals for senior pastor and attended the crusade. I remember I appeared in some program for uh, that channel. Or, well, once I publicized the crusade on a live radio, after delivering a sermon of senior pastor a little bit, I said, if you need prayer for your disease because this is live, please receive this prayer with a handkerchief and pray for audience. After the prayer, when I had some conversation, they got testimony calls. 
I'm healed of this, I'm healed of that. Hearing it, I said, wow, this can happen. After all, I felt a lot that this power that God bestows on my mind is amazing. Like we talked earlier about the incident in 1998 and 1999, actually, the enemy devil and Satan killed the senior pastor and m a m i n through broadcasting, but Father God repaid it as it was through broadcasting more explosively. That amazing work of God's power. It was so touching. With an unprecedented crowd of uh, over 3 million people, the India Crusade was also held. The power of God that shook earth crusade. Each crusade healed, padded to Israel, the ends of the earth. After 20 years, 25 years, I opened the church on July 25th, and after 25 years, I finally entered the land of Israel. How did the Israel Crusade first begin? begin? The Israel ministry started in 2017. I remember in 2006 New Year Crusade that two pastors from Israel came to attend the crusade. Senior pastor had a meeting with them. Senior pastor asked first for the Israel ministry. He asked, what do Israeli pastors and Christians need? A pastor from Israel boldly said, Israel is a Jewish country, so it is difficult to watch Christian programs on TV. To watch them, we have to attach a satellite antenna, so please support us to install antennas. At the time, I was a little embarrassed with myself and other workers there, because it was not small money. However, because senior pastor knew the importance of ministry in Israel, he willingly accepted it. We found this out later, but uh, what, what happens if you install a satellite antenna? Now you watch TV in Russia or CNL or other Christian programs. So they came to hear and watch senior pastor's sermons on TV in Russia or CNL and Mamin's programs. Then they naturally came to know the ministry of senior pastor and Mamin. It played a big role in conducting a crusade. That's right. Without that, it would have not been easy to get there at first, but pastor played such a role. So as we continued the ministry, when we held the pastor's meeting or church meetings, if we said the pastor who supported the satellite antennas or the pastor who preached the sermons, you received grace on TV, they came and gathered. Also, pastors came to the meeting to express their things. The ministry was expanded naturally like this. Footsteps of faith in Israel, only according to God's will, he prayed and marched. Senior pastors did not look at the reality of once the will of God was set. Only by faith, he marched with prayer for the uh, fulfillment of the will. And then it resulted that we held the Israel Crusade in, at the uh, International Convention Center in Jerusalem. The one who is qualified for four conditions of the Savior is only Jesus. Only through Jesus, Son of God, we can be saved. If this message is true, you will see that our Lord God Almighty will greatly work tonight. Numerous healings that guarantee the word The Israel Crusade was fulfilled by God's plan. We went through times of refinement in the church and uh, time of COVID-19. 
Uh, well, no matter small or big, senior pastor visited the churches and de delivered the Holiness Church to the souls in Israel. There was even a church where only a dozen people, members gathered. But senior pastor didn't care such things. Just in order to deliver the gospel to one more soul, he visited even such small churches, and Israeli pastors saw it all. Then they became fans of senior pastor and mamin, and followed wherever he held a meeting, no matter big or small churches. Senior pastor held them so warmly and always gave the words of comfort. So the pastors in Israel received great comfort and encouragement because they saw how Mami loves Israel, they are still with us. And many churches of Crystal Forum are doing the ministry well with us in Israel. I'm always grateful for the love that Mami gives to Israel. Once again, I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Jerob Lee and Mamin Church. We pray every day in Israel. We pray that Mamin will quickly overcome the present trials of blessing and bear the fruit of victory. We will continue to pray for Dr. Jerob Lee and Mamin, and we will continue to run together with Mamin. Love you, and God bless you. Thank you. An essential part of Overseas Crusade is the praise and worship, because it opens the gate of the crusade. So this time we have a special guest who will tell us about the performance of Overseas Crusades. She is Dr. Sujin Lee, acting senior pastor of Mamin Central Church. Let's welcome her with applause. Hallelujah. Good to see you. I think, Senior Pastor, you served as a, the leader of Overseas Performance Team and the praise leader of them. Please tell us what, what kind of heart you prepared the performance for Crusades. Our performance is most of all the time to glorify Father God. It's to open the heart of people and help them experience the word of Senior Pastor in amazing power. So, while preparing, we try hard to have the proper heart before God and the love for the souls. Most of all, there is what senior pastor asked of us, a performance. He said to prepare praises in local languages with the culture they like, so we focused on such things. Two months ahead, we gathered information such as the praise songs loved and enjoyed by local believers. Because we have to pronounce every word correctly, we gather them practice from two months ahead of a crusade. Especially Father God had prepared someone. Someone, Elder Ronya Son here, studied in language. International phonetics, right? Yes, he was a, a top teacher who taught us to pronounce any language well with the phonetics. We can't speak foreign languages, but he trained as well. Uh, and the performance team also prepared with all their hearts so that we could praise like local people. I feel like a little embarrassed then because you interest me so well. But yes, I majored in international phonetics. I wondered what I could do with international phonetics. Actually, I thought I didn't need it at all. Well, there are international phonetics symbols I learned. While listening to crazies, I had to make the pronunciation in Korean. But my head and hands moved not automatically because I learned it before. I did it for the first time at the Philippines Crusade, and I thought for the first time, oh, it's not in vain and that I learned the international phonetics. I realized that it was also God's providence. Well, as a result, there's something gracious. Uh, we uh, performed in the local language. Then uh, after the performance, the local people came to us and asked in their language. They knew we were speaking the language. We practiced so hard, and it gave a lot of grace to people. 
I'm Deacon Dermon Skitoko. I'm serving as a translator and interpreter, and I'm from DR Congo. At DR Congo Crusade, local people like the performance very much because people from other countries sang in Lingala language. They were very happy and amazed. So they said a lot that the performance felt like Congolese. Truly, the performance team was professional and their pronunciation was good. Also, some people made DVD with our performance. This DVD was sold also in other countries. It was sold in European countries such as Belgium, France, and Germany. It means that people liked it that much. Many Christians wanted to have that DVD like a good souvenir. Acting Senior Pastor, what is the most memorable crusade to you? I remember the, all the I remember all the crusades, but in case of performance, especially in performance, it was very meaningful, and I think the heavenly reward is great for the performance in Honduras. While we were preparing, suddenly it rained. People were leaving from the stage. I felt like people were leaving because it, it rained. So I was uh, so surprised that I had to hold their feet. We have faith that if senior pastor appear on the stage, even it will, uh, will stop raining. But local people do not have such experience, so we have to stop them leaving by all means. With this art, I said we should show the performance. Those who were setting the stage and preparing the audio were local people because they worried if there would be any electrical spark by rain, they turned off the electricity. So how we did, uh, we did without music. When we went up to the stage, it was slippery because it was raining. I said, oh, then let's take off our shoes and do it with bare foot. And we, the, we did the performance like we did in the crusade, holding fans and counting beats. We performed and praised without music. Then people who were leaving came back one by one. I was there, rehearsing barefoot on the stage was what we never imagined. We also never imagined that it would rain during the crusade period. While we thought there would be no rain, it rained all of a sudden. I was also puzzled, but actually it rained for a short while. Being part of the preparation team, I stayed there for a month. During the day, the temperature would be over 40 degrees with scorched heat. Then around 3 or 4 p.m., dark clouds would be seen around the mountains, and in the evening, the downpour would come. Downpour? Yes, downpour. Every day it was the same. But during the crusade, it rained only a little rain on the first day. I strongly feel that even that rain was like help from Father God. At the time, every day the local news reported on mm, dengue fever. Mosquitoes. They said many people were dying because of the fever, so we sent a prayer request to senior pastor for this. I believe that it rained to drive away the mosquitoes. Later on, we realized that the rain made the mosquitoes disappear so we could have them crusade in peace. At that time, we got cold feet because of the rain. But I think it was an opportunity for us to build up heavenly rewards. We always, um, well, we always started off our performance with the Korean fan dance. While it rained, we did a fan dance. It was so beautiful. People there cheered as, we, as they saw our fan dance. One of them supposedly got so curious and came to see those fans. He came to have a look, but he all of a sudden backed away, looking so surprised. We wondered what was wrong. Actually, the fans were made of chicken feathers. As they got wet by rain, they smelled like chickens. I know, because I was there. 
When they got, get wet, they got so smelly like chicken drop, droppings. Uh, they are beautiful, dyed, beautifully dyed. When they got, get dried up, they don't smell at all. But because they got wet and smelled like that, local people were shocked. We had such funny episodes. After it rained, our hair's makeup got ruined a little. However, I think we looked the most beautiful with Father God's grace. upon us. People asked us to take pictures with them and show the interest in our dresses. They treated us so lovely, lovingly. Thanks to the words of life and God's power that can unite all mankind in our Lord's love, we were able to have such a festival, I believe. I also received grace from the performance in New York Crusade. Yes, the response was great. Actually, I was a lot nervous to prepare for the New York Crusade performance. You know, there are, they are the world best in culture, and artists come to USA from the world. However, we have Father God and the power of the Shepherd, and we do our best, so we prepare diligently with this mind. I led the congregation of praise after we sang Jesus and we were leaving the stage. They didn't stop giving hands. It was different. It was the sound of applause asking for anchor. It was the first performance in Over Crusades that we did anchor performance. As I said, it was the world best place in culture. In that high class place, we offered up praise to Father God. Our mom and culture is global. I felt pride. And I also felt the effort of the senior pastor who made this performance team and praise culture. German Crusade had many restrictions due to cultural differences. It was a performance prepared with a lot of tension, but God poured down more grace than any other country. In the crusade where millions gathered, our hearts were overwhelmed by the praises of countless souls and we felt the status of Mamin. As senior pastor organized our performing arts committee, his sole purpose was to offer the best praises and dances to our Almighty Father God because he loved the Father so dearly. He also wanted all believers to feel heaven through our performance. So, he himself organized the Performing Arts Committee by sacrificing and devoting himself. So, our performance has been able to glorify God to this day. Amen. All glory be to the Father. Hallelujah. From 2000 Uganda Crusade to 2010 Estonia Crusade, we marched only in faith in Father God, even in the face of challenges. Acting senior pastor, you were previously a praise leader, but you became a speaker for handkerchief healing meetings. How do you feel? After senior pastor conducted the overseas crusades with great and amazing power and the words of life, from 2010 onward, assistant pastors began conducting meetings with handkerchief. Handkerchief on which he had prayed, invited to many places in the world. As for me, I conducted a handkerchief meeting from 2012. With the words of life in God's great and amazing power, I boldly went out with a strong sense of responsibility and faith. Actually, when we go overseas for meetings, we were welcomed in most countries because senior pastor's power has already been known. We are loved and we can comfortably share the word and manifest his power. But there are some countries where people don't know me and they have no connections with Mamin. They invite us just by hearing rumors about us or by someone's guidance. 
When I go these places, it feels awkward at first. Rather than feeling welcomed as a pastor, I feel like people just see me as a good-looking woman from Asia. It's a physical reality, yes, with physical eyes. So they are like trying to figure out who I am. But I rely on this holiness gospel and the shepherd's power. From the first day I preached the message, people change their sitting posture and they pay close attention to me, the speaker. After I preach my message and pray with a handkerchief, people who are healed of all kinds of disease fill the stage, right? Then the pastor of the church begins to look happy. The churches like this begin to welcome me with open arms and uh, form a bonds of love with my m e n I think you've had such experiences wherever you went. Exactly. So in the end, we were welcomed by all churches and pastors. For this, I'm very thankful. Even though we cannot go on a mission trip due to the pandemic, still, people from many places in the world are i n v i t e d Inviting us to name those places, and not only people from Russia, Ukraine, Latvia, but those from Georgia and Armenia, which we have now visited, are requesting our acting senior pastor to conduct a handkerchief meeting. Well, acting senior pastor has to be in Seoul. What can we do with these invitations? We have a lot of pastors here, and our church workers can also go out with the shepherd's power, like Dickens, Dickens, Dickens Stephen. and feel it. So I hope you prepare yourselves with prayer. I guess all of us here feel all the more passionate because we've, we've seen with our own eyes how the shepherd's power was manifested in overseas crusades. Our church members have also experienced great and amazing power. For this reason, we may take those works for granted, but we should never do so. People from overseas countries, many Christians don't get a single chance to see such power of God during their lifetime. That's why when we go overseas with the shepherd's power, many people gather. They are waiting with longing. When our pastors who believe in this power pray with faith, when they interceded for those who requested prayer with faith, God has worked for them the same way. God is still working that way among us. But unless we long for it and rely on it, we cannot see His work. Because God works for us when we press on, believing in and relying on Him, I ask that you arise with strong resolve in t go out to the world. <laughs> Amen. Our acting senior pastor continues the ministry of power as she delivers the words of life every week and conducts the divine healing meeting. He, her ministry demonstrates that the manifestations of the shepherd's power remain the same. I feel inspired to say thanks to our acting senior pastor now, so let us express our uh, gratitude to her. Thank you. Thank you. I'm indeed grateful that you are with us, leading us on board the ship of Mami to New Jerusalem. Let us ex- express our gratitude to our senior pastor who has guided us with a round of applause. Thank you, senior pastor. Following the calling from God the Father, senior pastor of Mami has walked with faith and obedience. Abundant fruits have been born at his every, every step. Following him, Dr. Su Jin Lee, acting senior pastor, is leading Ma Min. Now and in the future, because God the Father is with Ma Min, Ma Min never stops.
We had a joyful time today. We look forward to Mamin's magnificent future under God's providence. Mamin of another level, may you last forever. Lastly, I want to finish by saying congratulations to all Mamin members. When Acting Senior Pastor says, loving Mamin members, all of us will say congratulations on the 40th anniversary. Mamin will never stop. You go first, please. Loving Mami members, congratulations on the 40th anniversary. Mami will never stop. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Father, thank you.